Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really sumptuous dinner recipe. This is how to cook Napa Jack's Eye of Round Roast Beef. So I've got this gorgeous um, Eye of Round, that's actually half of what I got. So this is a about four and a half pounds worth of Eye of Round beef, okay? So that's what it looks like, nice big piece of meat, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this really amazing spice rub. Now this is from Wine Country Kitchens. This is Napa Jack's Steak Rub, okay? That's what the tin looks like. And they have a whole line of these little um, spice rubs. They are really, really delicious. So in here, you're gonna see there's a whole bunch of different mixture of things. And I'm gonna read you what they have on the label. And it says salt, spices, including chili pepper, garlic, and canola oil. They don't want to tell you a whole bunch of those spices. But looking in here, I'm seeing some really nice sea salt. I'm seeing some dill seeds. I'm seeing um, coriander, crushed coriander. I'm seeing some onion, probably a little bit of garlic. Well, it did say garlic, didn't it? Um, really, really tasty and really flavorful and fragrant. Really, really nice smell smoky and, and a little bit spicy. So what I'm going to do is I have about a half a cup to maybe three quarters of a cup of flour in a casserole dish. I'm gonna dredge this, but I'm going to season the um, dredging flour first with some of this spice rub, about a teaspoon's worth, or more if you want more. And I'm going to add some freshly ground black pepper to that. If you think you need a little bit more of that spice rub, Go ahead and add that. And you're just gonna mix that through the flour. Now on my stove top, I have a large oven-proof uh, frying pan, large saute pan. And I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I've actually been preheating that. You wanna make sure that this is nice and hot before you put this in here. We are actually going to make sure that we sear the outside all around the beef. And that's not only gonna get that uh, cooking started, but it's going to get a beautiful crust that's gonna be really, really tasty, including all these spices on the outside. So that's what we're looking for. If you splash some water in the oil and you see that it's not sizzling right away, it's not hot enough, so you're gonna wait. You wanna make sure that that oil is dancing, okay? All right, so into this uh, flour goes my meat, and I'm just going to coat it I'm gonna cover it on all sides with that flour, make sure that it's gonna be nice and seasoned. That flour is gonna help it develop a beautiful crust as well. So I can hear that oil dancing in my pan, and so I'm just going to shake off any excess flour. You don't want a whole um, bunch of extra because that's gonna burn in the bottom of your pan. This is a very hot pan, and we don't wanna burn spices. We just want to brown things. So in goes my roast beef. It's going to sear on all sides, maybe, I don't know, five minutes-ish per side. You wanna make sure you get a nice dark brown crust, okay? And it goes. Sizzle, sizzle. Now try not to mess with it too much while it's doing the searing. It needs to sit there and really get nice and hot. Don't be moving it around in the pan. Um, just lift it up barely to see what's going on underneath before you turn it to the other side. You also want to get the ends nice and brown. So we'll see you when mine is completely brown. Preheat your oven in the meantime to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so this is properly browned. It is really, really beautiful at this point. There you go. So it's browned on all sides like that. And what's great about this spice that we're spice rub we're using is it's an all-inclusive kind of spice. It's got everything in here that I need, that I would even want on my beef. So this is going into the oven at 340 degrees. This is a roughly a four and a half pound roast. So it's gonna be anywhere between 13 to 17 minutes per pound, depending on how done you like yours. That'll be take it to about medium, medium rare medium. So if you want it a little bit longer, it'll go a little bit tiny longer. So you want that to be about 130 degrees, just under 130 degrees in the center when you test the temperature. Um, and that's it. So into the oven it goes. I'm going to actually cover it with a loose foil tent because we already have a nice brown crust on it. It's unnecessary to really get it much more browned. So that's how we're gonna roll with this. Don't smother it. You want it to still be able to um, breathe. You don't want to keep all that steam in there and steam the meat. You want it to still be roasted. So into the oven it goes. And I'm going to check it in about 30 minutes just to make sure all is well. Now this smells amazing. The whole house smells like roast beast. Gorgeous. So we're about 45 minutes in, I would say. 
And I'm going to put my little um, meat thermometer right through to the center and back into the oven. It's going to be a while longer, so back in at 340. Loosely covered. Boy, does this ever smell amazing, Mom. Oh, I know. I can smell it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and move these um, veggies around in this liquid again, in the drippings. And I think that they're done. I'm going to do a quick uh, knife test to make sure. Yeah, I would say these are done. So my temperature gauge is, is reading right on medium. So that's good for me. We're going to just cover this with the loose um, tent. 10 minutes you have to let this meat rest. Do not cut it right now. If you cut it right now, all the juices are going to ooze out. You want all that beautiful moisture to stay in there. You want it to be juicy and tender. So let it sit 10 minutes before you even mess with it at all. Okay, so this has been resting for a good 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer. And here's what we've got going on here. These gorgeous roasted veggies and this roast beast. It looks awesome. It smells so good and we're all ready to eat. We're so I'm gonna started. remove this from my pan. Look at this gorgeous roast. Oh, come on, you guys. And we're ready to do some slicing and some serving. So the pieces on the ends are gonna be much more done than the pieces closer to the center. So gauge that according to what people like to eat, whether they want it well, more well done or more rare. So we're just gonna slice some gorgeous pieces off. Whoever gets the end piece is always lucky. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's show you this beef. Mm, gorgeous. You ready to eat, mommy? Mm -hmm. It's so. Smells good, yeah. Yes, ma'am. You ready to eat? Yep. And some veggies. Mm -hmm. These look awesome. Yes, they do. Wow. With all those drippings, you need a mushroom. There you go. You're welcome. Here. Mom's gonna serve hers with horseradish. This roast is juicy. It is uh, well done on the outside and nice uh, medium on the inside, just like I said. Get some veggies. Those juices have just flavored the juice, uh, vegetables. I know. These, uh, there's lots of drippings and they're gorgeous and it's thickened up because they all were um, coated in that flour so it's kind of like a nice thick sauce instead of just being runny what an amazing dinner yummy mm -hmm. look at that these beautiful pan roasted uh, sweet potatoes and potatoes and mushrooms and our man this is a magnificent looking napa jacks eye round roast beef come on is it delicious mom mm -hmm. fantastic I like mine with just a little bit of horseradish on the side too. And let's taste it. So if you want to just um, put some of the pan juices over top of the beef, feel free. Mmm. 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 That is so good. It is so flavorful. It has a gorgeous crust on the outside, Mom. Mmm. Mmm. It's moist and juicy. So flavorful. Perfect seasoning. Mmm. Boy, that's good. And the veggies, let's see. Oh my goodness. What a lovely dinner. Very simple to do. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but it's very simple, and it is so rewarding. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Fantastic. I'm busy eating. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Meaty, juicy, beefy. Mmm. Mmm. That's a power pack meal. This would be a lovely dinner for Mother's Day, wouldn't it? Mmm. Mm. Any day. You're right. It's so good. Mmm. 
Achieving that sear on the outside really gives a lot of flavor, not only to the beef, but to the drippings. So delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm. If you have drippings left, don't throw them out because you can use them for Yorkshire pudding either now or tomorrow or another day this week. Man, that is like liquid gold right there. Yorkshires are one of my very favorite things. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna go eat. Everyone's eating. We need to do this. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook a Napa Jack's Eye of Round Roast Beef. Unbelievably good. So good. So it's perfect. The crunchy outside, so flavorful. All the way through it's seasoned. It's beautifully uh, tender. It's moist. It's the right doneness for everybody to enjoy. And you have leftovers for tomorrow. Really lovely. Pork. Oh, okay. Room temperature meat before it goes in the oven, which is what I always do anyway. Mm. Mm. So that's it. I really hope that you try this recipe out. Make sure you check out Wine Country Kitchens online at winecountrykitchens.com for this really tasty spice rub and all of their really phenomenal products, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.